What's up guys? It's Take One Brando here, here to show you guys how to do up the video chuggy and one way to set it up. Now there are many variations of the roundhouse kick, the Muay Thai variation, a Dutch kickboxing variation, a Kyokushin, and different other karate styles variation. There's so many different ways to do the roundhouse kick, but today I'm just going to teach you guys the simple classic way to do the Taekwondo Aptelio Chagi, the Taekwondo Roundhouse Kick, in five steps, cutting it down to one, and then I'm gonna show you guys a way to set it up. All right, now, if you need the wall for balance, just like last video, grab the wall, same thing. You want your heel up, you want about a 49, 51 way distribution, hip square, hand up, dropping the rib, elbow to the rib, and to the face. Alrighty, so up through your chuggy. Step one, chamber, heel to the butt, just like last time. I hope you guys like my cat. Two, turn, and turn your leg at a 90 degree angle to the floor, almost like you're setting it on a table. That is one common mistake. I see in New York, they call it a 45, because they kick at a 45 degree angle. Boom, that's terrible. You're gonna kick somebody's elbow like that. And when you do clash their elbow, it's gonna hurt a lot more than if you do the kick at a 90 degree angle. Three, kick out and not at the target. Remember, you're kicking through the target. <laughs> Four, back to the knee. Five, setting the foot down. All right, now four steps, guys. One, knee up and to the side. Two, kick through. Three, four, five. All right, guys, three steps. Ready? One, two, three. All right, two steps, guys. Let's go. One, two. Nice, now let's go one step. One, two. Now you can set it in front. Or if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging of an exercise, you can bring it all the way back. Now that's just for exercise purposes. For sparring purposes, typically you want to land in front after an up to chaggy. Now one setup for this guys. The jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Now for a jab, you always want to keep your guard up, elbows resting nice in the ribs, fist to the face. Almost like you're pulling a jacket over your head. Now for the jab, you always want to fully extend the arm, guys, and you're always punching with the index knuckle and the middle knuckle. That's why we twist our hand when we do the jab, because we want to stick those knuckles into the opponent, right? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now for the cross, it's the same principle, except there is one slight detail where on the cross, you, some people call it squashing the bug, some people call it stomping the floor, but you wanna twist your back foot, and that's where the power from the cross is gonna come from. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Now let's go. Jab cross. Boom. 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 And a lot of people say to aim from the corner of your eyes, guys. You can add some head movement in there if you want. All right, now the setup. Jab, cross. Now see how when I cross, the bug is already squashed and my hips are already rotated. Now that sets me up to do a roundhouse kick. Now, the Muay Thai variation is where they follow all the way through with the roundhouse kick. I personally love to use the Muay Thai variation. It's fun, it's powerful. They're kicking with the whole shin, whereas opposed to Taekwondo, we are kicking with the instep of the foot. Now the entry guys, jab, cross, roundhouse, boom. Jab, cross, roundhouse, 
boom, jab, cross, roundhouse, boom, hook, whatever guys. This is a great way to start learning how to set your kicks up with your punches. That's gonna be a very important principle in Taekwondo, especially uh, ITF Taekwondo and kickboxing. And if you want to try amateur boxing, go into that as well. Also try cross training at gyms, guys. Always go to kickboxing gyms, boxing gyms, Taekwondo gyms. Always broaden your horizons and train multiple martial arts to add on to your main martial art. I think Taekwondo is a good martial art to use as a canvas and all the other martial arts and all your knowledge, all your martial IQ can be put on the paintbrush to paint that canvas, which is not your martial art. You're getting a little weird and esoteric with it, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the Taekwondo quick tutorial there for Up Duryo Chagi. Roundhouse kick, guys. You have a good day.